It had been a while since I've done a solo backcountry adventure, not in my trailer, but on foot. That was about to change. Well, hello from the Eastern Sierra Nevada mountains of California. I am getting ready to set out on an overnight backpacking trip a solo overnight backpacking trip and I am celebrating an anniversary of sorts the four-year anniversary of the very first time I did a solo backpacking trip and what better place to celebrate than the exact location that I did that trip. I am here at the Parker Lake Trailhead. It's a great place to do your first solo backpacking trip or a first backpacking trip in general and I'll tell you more about that later or about why later. I'm going to go ahead and get packed up and get ready to hit the trail. Always take time to smell the sagebrush. The hike has been beautiful. It's a stunning day. They had a winter storm come through here a few days ago, believe it or not. And I think at the high elevations, they might have even gotten a little bit of snow. I know there was a lot of rain, wind, it was very cold. <laughs> So I'm very lucky. It's about 73 degrees Fahrenheit today. Not too warm, pretty much perfect, and barely a cloud in the sky.
First little hints of fall color here at the beginning of September. I've made it to home for the night. A quick word about the sponsor of today's video, AG1. After a nice hike in, it's time for a little AG1 pick-me-up. You didn't think I was gonna come out here without it, did you? <laughs> Their convenient travel packs make it easy to take your AG1 anywhere and everywhere. AG1 is foundational nutrition, the nutrients you need for whole body health. Through a science-driven formulation of vitamins, probiotics, and whole food source nutrients, AG1 delivers comprehensive support for the brain, gut, and immune systems. AG1 has everything I need to keep my body active and energized with 75 vitamins and minerals, whole food source superfoods, prebiotics, probiotics, all the good stuff for your gut health. It's all in one daily dose. AG1 combines what you get from multiple supplements together into one simple drinkable habit. It delivers optimal amounts of hard to get nutrients to improve not just your day to day, but your long term health. When I backpack, I travel light, and that means dehydrated meals. And those dehydrated meals definitely don't give me all of the nutrients that I need. That's why packing one little travel pack of AG1 takes care of all of my nutritional needs. I highly recommend trying AG1 for yourself. If you click that link below, you will get a year's supply of vitamin D plus five travel packs for free with your first purchase. Don't wait, go ahead and get it, get energized, even when you're out here in nature. <laughs> Thank you once again to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to camping. got my comfy little home all set up for the evening. I've got camp all set up along this beautiful alpine lake. Look at the watercolor, it's absolutely gorgeous. There's a breeze flowing. Actually, they said the winds could get up to 20 miles per hour, so there've been some kind of heavy gusts, but nothing too terrible. I'm just so, so happy to be here. As I mentioned earlier, I think this is an excellent place for a first solo trip. And the reason that I chose it for my first solo trip was because it isn't too far from the trailhead. So I think I'm a little over a mile in, not very far at all. That way, if I got spooked or felt anxious or wasn't feeling it or scared, I could just easily pack up my stuff and head back to my car. It is a relatively easy hike. It's about, I think, 700 feet of elevation gain, uh, even though my all trail said I did over a thousand, but that's probably because I was going back and forth getting my camera, but it's relatively easy. It's not super high elevation. It's uh, subalpine, so it's, uh, I think, around 8,000, a little over 8,000 feet, I believe. I'll double check that and put the correct number here. It's very peaceful and beautiful. I've had had so many people reach out to me and say that they 
would like to get out and backpack on their own or get out on their first backpacking trip, but they just don't know where to begin. And I would say this is a good place to begin, somewhere that's a short hike for you. It could be some a hike that you've done before, so you've already done some recon and know what you're in for and know kind of the general area you'd like to camp. And, uh, you know, something that's relatively easy, something that if you decide to bail, you can bail pretty easily. And uh, once you get that first time over with, I think that you'll find that you'll be out there quite a bit more. This is my first solo trip in quite a while. Having said that, it's been probably about two years. So it was about time that I get out on a little solo adventure. I will be uh, heading out soon, very soon, for a longer backpacking adventure in a different state. So I'm really excited about that. And that one I will be joined uh, by some friends. So that'll be very exciting. But for tonight, I'm just gonna enjoy being out here all by my lonesome. And I'm not lonesome because I'm surrounded by the beauty of nature and uh, it's good. It's good to be out here on my own. Summer is almost gone. It's unbelievable. These are just the last days of summer. It's been getting dark earlier and earlier. That sun's going to be going behind the mountain pretty soon. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. It just flew by. It totally flew by for me. Probably the highlight of my summer was going to the Canadian Rockies. That was absolutely incredible. I miss it already and I cannot wait to go back. <laughs> but I do have a lot of fun adventures planned for the fall. I plan to get out quite a bit. It's actually one of my favorite times to get out because it's shoulder season. A lot of the kids have gone back to school. The crowds are much lower. I can already tell because I think most of the kids are back in school at this point that it's uh, a lot less crowded out here, <laughs> which is awesome. Yeah, I heard this last weekend was kind of brutal with wind and rain and I think snow at the higher elevations. A lot of the snow here in the Sierra hasn't even melted yet, so it's going to be snow on top of the old snow, but it's good. It's uh, wonderful to see the lakes all full around here. It's absolutely incredible. I haven't seen it like this in years. I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner started because for one, I'm hungry, and two, when that sun goes behind the mountain, it's gonna get quite chilly. The lows are gonna be in the low 30s. I'm gonna make myself a backpacker pantry, macaroni and cheese, it's one of my favorites. I think it's a three cheese macaroni and cheese, and that takes a little while to cook. You do have to secure your food in a bear canister in this area of the Ansel Adams wilderness. I actually will be making a separate video of all of my gear and updated video because I've got quite a few new substantial pieces that I wanna go over with you. So that's gonna be coming up soon. That is what dinner looks like. Looks pretty tasty.
It is approximately 7.15 and I am all cozy in my jammies and in my tent for the evening. I don't have a nightlife. I have a day life and that's just fine with me. <laughs> I was really itching to just be out here in the backcountry, just get out and sleep in my tent. And I've been thinking about coming back here since it was the four year anniversary of my first solo backpacking trip. So it was kind of last minute, just decided to do it. And I'm really glad I did. I've got gotten just fantastic weather just beautiful out here and I'm just excited to be here and I'm also tired as you might be able to tell so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and I will see you all in the morning good night Good morning. It's a chilly morning here at Parker Lake. I would say it is almost freezing, not quite freezing, but pretty close. I slept pretty well. However, the sleeping pad here kept deflating, so it has a leak. I was up every few hours re-inflating it, <laughs> but that's okay. I slept in between those times. I did get out to use a restroom in the middle of the night and there were just a million stars. The moon came out after a while. It was just so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and get some coffee going soon and some breakfast. For coffee, I'm mixing up some Starbucks Via with a Trader Joe's Instant and a packet of sugar. And this is breakfast. I sometimes have that for dinner as well. Just what I needed, a nice warm beverage. And the sun is making its way in here, so it's feeling really good. Some very cool news recently. There have been, there has been a pack of wolves discovered in Sequoia National Forest. And there have not been wolves in this area for many, 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 many years. And it made its way down organically. They weren't transplanted or anything like that. So that's very exciting. I hope that the population continues to expand so that maybe wolves will be a normal part of this area again. And then also I heard a wolverine was spotted in the Sierra. That would be really cool to see a wolverine out here. Uh, two bits of good news. I still have not seen a wolf or a wolverine in the wild. So those two I would love to check off my list of wildlife that I'd like to encounter from a safe distance, of course. I did hear some noises out here last night. Got a little bit spooked, but it's probably deer because I did see some deer moving around back there. I just assumed it was probably deer. Kept my food stored plenty far away, away from me and uh, kept a clean camp. I'm obviously having coffee pretty close to my tent now because I'll be packing up to leave this morning.
this granola is super easy. You just add water and stir. Okay, I've got my bags packed and I am ready to hit the trail. It was just as beautiful as I remember it being here. And I definitely recommend if you haven't been out backpacking at all or even backpacking solo, you give it a try. It may not be for you, but you never know unless you try. Anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get loaded up and hit the trail. I'll see you at the trailhead. I made it back to the trailhead and that was just what the doctor ordered. Just a short, sweet little adventure in the backcountry. It was perfect. One of the things that occurred to me on the hike back was if you are afraid of hiking or sleeping, backpacking in bear country, there are so many amazing places that you can choose from that aren't in bear country. So consider that if you're going out on your first trip. Anyhow, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed coming along. As always, I appreciate your support and I will see you on the next adventure. See you soon. Bye-bye.